It was a time to say thanks and recognize some individuals and companies as the local business community gathered for an annual holiday luncheon today. The Greater Binghamton Chamber held its 23rd Thanksgiving luncheon at the McKinley in Endicott. And as always, all 600 seats were sold out. The Chamber also gave out three awards, including Corporate Citizen of the Year to the Raymond Corporation. Raymond CEO Mike Field says the employees of the forklift manufacturer support more than 150 nonprofit and educational organizations each year. It's really about creating that engagement within the company, but also outside of the company. And it does help, I think, with retention. It does help with, with people seeing uh, Raymond as a kind of familial place uh, to work and, and create a career. It's not just a job, it's a career. The Nonprofit Executive Leadership Award went to Sharon Chesna, Executive Director of the Mothers and Babies Perinatal Network. Mothers and Babies works with other nonprofits to address timely local issues related to family planning, pregnancy, newborns, and infants. Chesna says her organization also relies heavily on partnerships with the business community. The individuals in this room are the people that can really make a difference in all of the nonprofits that are here in our community. All of our nonprofits need the support and the involvement of the business community. The Community Advocate of the Year Award was given to Binghamton Porch Fest. Billed as a very large block party, Porch Fest takes place the last Sunday in August outside homes in the historic Abel Bennett neighborhood of Binghamton's West Side. In its fifth year this year, it grew to its largest size, featuring 162 musical performances by 583 musicians on the porches and lawns of 52 host families. Founder and director Chris Bednarchuk says the quarter mile area becomes a giant music festival. It's a love letter to Binghamton and to see that many people come together, you know, over a thousand participants in terms of musicians and hosts and volunteers, sponsors, and thousands of people coming out, um, people that moved away from Binghamton years ago, coming back, making that their yearly pilgrimage, uh, that in Luma a week later. It's really, it's a beautiful thing. And Keynote speaker Albert Nacholino, founder of Broadway in Binghamton, spoke about his passion for the arts and his love of our community.